Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Great War mod. We're playing as the Austro-Hungarian Empire in World War I. Since last time around, I have actually done close to, I think it's 20 turns, in an effort to industrialize and uh, upgrade all my armies, which I have this at this point successfully done, so we'll go over a little bit what has happened and we'll start off in the east. I think what we ended off with last time was I was talking about an invasion of Romania. That is the part that I actually haven't gotten to just yet and the reason for that was I moved down the army as we saw there was very few troops in that army. I moved down and I realized the Romanians around the capital were quite, they have a very heavy defense. Maybe I can sneak in and take a look. We're gonna, I have two aircrafts, so I can. Okay, he's got detected. Did he see in? No, he didn't see anything. Um, and now I can't select him. Or it's harder to select him. Let's see, there we go. So <laughs> this is why I didn't attack. I had, as we saw, I had like six units. These guys have six field guns. And that is just in this army. Um, the secondary army over here has at least two, I imagine three. So the Romanians, kind of with the remnants of the old style army that I had there, there was no way I was going to be able to attack. So we're building a new army for them. It's taken some time because, uh, taken some time because I haven't been able to structure it properly. I had two other armies in the region that needed refitting. So this third one um, we had to put on the back burner because, well, the Romanians aren't moving, the Soviets are. Uh, then next to that we had, uh, we secured the oil. Um, so we have that under control and I've since moved my navy. I moved it through here, we sunk the Italian navy that was here. We sunk the Italian navy that was here. We moved into the region right here. There came a small Italian force down. And the thing was I split my naval force here. So I sent all the armored cruisers over towards here. And I sent the big battleships up through here. And the Italian small fleet mostly consists of uh, cruisers and stuff actually attacked the battleship line instead, which I found kind of surprising, uh, and then will easily sunk. So the Italian navy is no more except for this one ship up here with a ugly fat bastard light in this board is light cruiser. But otherwise the Italian navy is gone. So that's uh, kind of what the navy is going through there. Then if we head back east um, the army under Herman has now been replaced. You can see it's now all modern troops. It now consists of two units of rifle cavalry. At some point I'm hoping that I will actually get the, um, the ability to get the mounted infantry unit. Um, we'll get that from cavalry centers. So most likely I think down here once we upgrade this or most likely uh, back at the capital, some mounted cavalry. It's a lot bigger unit, it's a 240 unit. And hopefully that one will actually be able to dismount, which would be pretty cool. It, he's got a machine gun, uh, and then the howitzer have been replaced with heavy howitzers. They've got an additional 200 in range. They're a little bit less accurate, but I imagine they uh, make quite huge craters. So because this army also was recruited in Ukraine, we have a lot of Ukrainian infantry battalions. All that we can have, six of them. Uh, they are also backed up then by two combat engineers. Once we'll see the combat engineers actually deploy the mines, I, I was actually surprised how big the mines are. Um, if there's a, if there was a, there, there's also, there's always been a concern, or not concern, but um, the way that deploy the vanilla mine, I've always tried to do it in a way that caused maximum destruction because placing it in a normal way 
didn't really get the desired effect. Usually what happened was the a, a, a line unit would m march onto it and you know it would throw a cascade of like shrapnel but usually it would actually go above the unit. If it was more marching at normal marching speed it would actually just explode, throw the shrapnel over the unit and no one would actually die. This one I'll assure you, it will annihilate the entire unit when you march up over that. Uh, we've got snipers, so they have a accuracy of 104. Um, so that's gonna be, uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, then we've got some light infantry and a flamethrower units in the last. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting against uh, as they're marching towards Moscow. Then we're marching forward here. What happened here actually is as I retreated there was a revolution here and it actually spawned Lithuania. Um, so we got Lithuania in control of this area. They're at war with us because that they spawned out of us. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of them. And down here we've got the Archduke of Austria. He's got two rifle cavalry, two machine guns. He got two heavy field guns or upgraded field guns um, that we can see here. Then he's got, uh, I think it's four or five uh, rifle battalions of the new style with helmets. He's, no, he's got, no, yeah, five. And then he's got four Feldjäger. He's got two combat engineer. He's got a sniper and a flamethrower. So that's what's going up there. We're recruiting a army four. Victor Dunkel. That was the general supposed to go down here. He's gonna get some extra units. Uh, it's got an infantry and a machine gun right now, but he's gonna get a lot more. He's gonna get gas. Um, I've actually run into gas and it's so much more deadly in this version. It's kind of amazing. So we're gonna use gas on the Romanians. Sorry about that guys. Um, we've got infantry battalions on the way and then we've got two heavy field guns uh, also on the way. We're gonna have lots more troops here as well uh, but that is what's happening on the eastern front. If we go over to the western front we are ready to attack the Italians. We might as well start down here in Rome. So we've got Freiherr he's got his his army is not ready but his army is gonna depart uh, the bark Embark. It's going to travel across the sea. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to go on an Italian cruise and he's going to attack their last capital and take that. And the idea is I'm going to take this last so I can create that as a vassal state. So if I want to give back some Italian portions to Italy, I don't think I will because I'm actually quite fine with holding these. It's generating a ton of money for me. Uh, but he's gonna get some heavy field guns and, and other troops to implement into his army. Then we've got Oscar. He's ready to march on Piedmont. He's got uh, cavalry, machine guns. He's got these heavy field guns. Then he's got the Kaiserschützen uh, mountain infantry. He's got uh, let's see, five, six of those. Then he's got four units of normal infantry. He's got two combat engineers and a sniper. He's going to march forward there. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on the Swiss, but the Swiss have been fighting with the Italians because he, for some reason the Italians decided to, rather than go ahead and attack and not try to reclaim anything, they went up to Switzerland and attacked there. They also actually attacked the French. Um, so I guess the French weren't really expecting that, so <laughs> the, the Italians were actually able to capture Marseille, which is an odd turn of events. But I guess um, in dire circumstances you can always backstab the French. Um, then we go to the last army, which is Konrad von Hetzeldorf, and that is also the army we're going to see in action today. So we've got two cavalry there as well. We've got one machine gun, we've got one heavy mortar battery. We've got one of the light howitzers. And then we've got a forward artillery observer for a rail gun. Um, that's gonna leave some heavy marks on the enemy. Then he's got um, 
just infantry battalions, it's got Feldjägers, and then it's got two combat engineers. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see all of that in action. And what we're going to do is we're going to fight here because the French, they are allied with the Swiss and they had troops here to, I guess, protect them. But rather than go ahead and try to bypass, I guess, the Germans or something, um, they've gone through and tried to bypass and attack me at Innsbruck. Which seems odd, because they have lost a lot. They are... I mean, Paris is heavily surrounded with both losing Normandy region and the uh, Picardier-Champagne region there. So, Paris is definitely next to fall, if the French aren't careful. Um, wondering what the British are doing, if they're gonna la launch any troops there. Uh, my main concern is just that we have an enemy left to fight in the on the western front and they that we maybe get to Paris first and that could be interesting uh, with all of that said we're gonna go ahead and attack and we're gonna attack this guy and we're gonna save the beleaguered troops in Innsbruck so the French it's still an old style army. They do have a new upgraded battery gun. They do have their machine guns, but they still have the Crasiers. They still have the Red Pant early infantry. Um, pretty good units though. Colonial Marines and uh, Chasseurs. It's definitely a smaller army than us. They have about... Uh, we get, compared to Konrad von Hetzeldorf at 3,000 men, they have half. And then we'll get the reinforcement of the town. Not much to um, hang in your Christmas tree, but uh, still 1,200 men. So the French don't really stand a chance here, but it'll be interesting to test out some of the weapons on the French. And with all of that said, let's all go ahead and draw into battle. It seems to be always raining in these battles. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at their army before we actually go ahead and commit to the fight. So we've got Konrad von Hetzeldorf. We'll actually place him far back with the artillery observers over here. Which uh, are observing, forward observers for the railgun. They've got these um, sights to uh, take a look at the enemy from and direct the artillery shots um, then if we go over here that's just yeah that's the old style light howitzer I haven't uh, gotten rid of that one just yet we've got the cavalry unit which is the rifle cavalry which we can see right here now they're wearing grey instead of that light blue that they started off with um, I'm talking about the army in general, not necessarily the cavalry. And then we've got the infantry right here. Quite a switch up from the old style uniform. They've got their helmets now. They've got grey uniforms. And so on. Pretty darn nice. And so that's the line infantry. If we go up here. I have deployed my combat engineers and my combat engineers have placed their bombs right up here they can technically they can spawn ahead of the army it's just that our deployment zones the French start right here and our starts right here and the, the white one um, is the area in which these guys can deploy and we can see that they overlap here but I could have placed them behind or not at all actually because that's the end of the map I could have placed them in the side but I want to uh, I want the bombs to go off so that's why we played place them right here we'll pull these guys back as soon as possible after that and hopefully we can somehow get the French to ride into that I've placed my heavy mortars over here the thing is these do not move and um, the good thing about mortars is they have a very high arc of fire. I'm hoping that the enemy's artillery 
and given kind of the elevation of this gun means that if they start to target these guys they'll actually just hit the hill more so than hit the mortar so we'll be able to sit there and shoot at them and then for the last unit in this army eh, we've got the Feltjägers which are these guys right here um, got helmets, they got putties instead of boots and so on and I we can see the two different types of helmets as well we can see the more German style M16 helmet as we can see on this guy and then we can see the Austrian one which I think actually closer resembles the sort of uh, as they draw their ideas for the helmets from um, old medieval helmets you can definitely see how that could be um, you know almost directly just painted that it or not painted at all uh, just have it as bare steel and you could kind of see how that could have been war by by someone uh, sort of or it, it definitely has and looks a lot more like a medieval style in the way that in the shape of it anyways with all of that said let's go ahead and start the battle I'm not gonna start off using a lot of the heavy artillery what we're gonna do oh is that the machine guns shit combat engineers run we got the French machine guns they of course using their um, not belt fed machine guns there oh we're actually as we move away we're actually sneaking away that's pretty good how neat so right now the French are actually pulling back the troops are pulling back from the wall so I'm not entirely sure what they do I'm actually gonna tell the forward observers to target this area and we'll see if we can blow up those machine guns let's go ahead and see it's gonna be if I if I got this right it's gonna be quite a heavy explosion here listening to it can hear it maybe there's uh, shots going back and forth the enemy artillery is actually targeting my infantry back here and not the Oh no, they are targeting the heavy mortars as well. Uh, the heavy mortars are very inaccurate. And they cannot compare to um, the enemy's uh, artillery. I think we're going to move. have to move that one forward. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. But the uh, forward artillery observers... It could be that it's a mistake that they can't... Oh, it looked like you just fired. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's not as... Uh, well, it's still pretty big explosions. Um, it kind of reminds me of the way... Um, the way... What am I talking about? The, um, the Shogun 2. When you have uh, the ships being able to... That's pretty darn cool with that fire shot coming in with that trail of it going in that would be pretty devastating if we were actually if we actually knew what we were targeting here and it also has got superb range I think we'll actually use this to start blasting the enemy's artillery maybe that will force them onto these which I would so much enjoy seeing the French run onto that and explode. I'm gonna move my light howitzer forward so that we can target the enemy howitzer as well. Right now one of our heavy mortars have been taken out. They're not very precise. W that sounds like machine gun. Is that the enemy French? No, I cannot see them. So I mean mortars would mostly, I imagine, be used against um, uh, infantry, or they're more. They would be more useful to use against infantry again than counter battery fire, because they're so inaccurate and the explosion is rather small that um, it doesn't actually do that much damage. 
Okay, so now we've got the heavier railgun explosions coming in around the artillery. We actually hit this French infantry unit and blew that to pieces. Wait, it, this seems like the railgun is firing all over the place. Some shots are landing here, some shots are landing up here. So, it's not very accurate, is it? But, um... Now I'm losing... The thing is, this is the Tyrol region, so it doesn't matter that much if we lose tons of men. Oh, it's like it's a creeping barrage thing, where it expl starts to explode here, then goes here, and now uh, shoot fires beyond the target. Damn, that shot just took out so many Frenchmen. I just saw how the numbers in the unit just utterly reduced. We did manage to get a direct score on this gun. Come on then, you stupid French bastards. Charge me. Right, the light artillery gun is set. We'll target specifically for the enemy artillery. I think it is the old sort of AI stuff of as long as they have their artillery superiority, they will sit and blast you. So we need to reduce their artillery superiority and then we can hope to uh, see them actually come out, uh, come out and fight us. I think I will actually target the, um, the light howitzer to target specifically in the ground right there. Okay, I think that gun just disappeared. Given the... No, uh, it did kill a lot of crew though. Take out that gun already. I've placed my machine gun up here. I was originally going to place it here, but the enemy would have to... Um, since I want the enemy to march on to the uh, detonation spots, um, I didn't want them to stop kind of there and start shooting at the machine gun, so I placed it on this side instead. Maybe we'll actually place it this way, so it'll fire. If anyone tries to come this way, we'll shoot them down. Uh, we'll march these infantry units more on an angle here. We can actually get one up on the ridge. And then the other two can be sitting here while the machine gun is moving over there. The Feldjäger slightly moved to face that way. Got the combat engineers. We got the uh, normal infantry over here. It's going to move. And I guess the right now the route for the cavalry would probably be best moved around here. So I think we're going to get both the units to come over here and set up like that. We're absolutely just blowing the shit out of the French, even though it's um, a bit inaccurate fire shots. It's almost um, given the trajectory of it. It almost looks like it comes from space, doesn't it? And I guess it's hard to um, just oh, it is. It does actually come from space. I guess it's really. I guess it would be hard to, in some way, make it like a, a an angle like that. So that's the best way of doing it. Okay, the artillery piece has been completely obliterated. Still the French does not come at us. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Okay, what exactly do you want me to do, France? We're gonna try and find their... You know what? We're gonna find those machine guns, we're gonna kill them, and we're gonna... I really just want the French to march onto my bombs. How hard can it be? Just send your cavalry. My glorious French charge. Just bl get blown up. Oh, what's this? Enemy machine guns. What are they firing at? They're firing at my infantry. 
Luckily for me, we're actually on the back side of a hill. So the French machine guns are all missing. Ha! Oh, that's... Um, it wasn't actually I that killed the French generals. The machine, the French machine guns killed them. One thing I've just thought about. You can go into the unit. Can I look? Oh yeah, yeah, I can look exactly from the barrel. Can I look that from this? Oh yeah. We're gonna fly very high, and it's gonna be an annoying sound throughout. Oh, we can see uh, the alien space shot. We're still going straight up into the sky. Can I speed this up? Oh, and that reduced the sound. Yeah, that's great. Now I don't have to listen to that. And... We're slowly falling. Oh, we're not e We're nowhere near. That's the problem with the mortars. They're not very accurate. I can see a French cavalry unit over there. Oh shit, my cavalry unit rode straight into their machine gun fire. I can see the French ch cavalry. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Let's see. Or maybe I should do it in real time. Oh yeah, fire your pistols. Let's see. It might not maybe detonate because it's cavalry. Yeah, it didn't detonate. French infantry units are on the way, so that will definitely detonate it though. Oh, there's a fight over there between the cavalry, but they're actually shooting at each other. Rather than having the Karasiers charge. Damn, the fact that <laughs> I, I forgot about that and just let them go. Um... Ah, they're gonna... St well, that's okay if they're gonna stay there. Because that means the enemy infantry is gonna go there and it's gonna blow everything up. Four French machine gunners. Receiving all our artillery fire. This unit is actually suffering a little bit. Okay, now they're uh, charging towards us. However, all my hidden troops will now open fire. And murder the poor Karasiers. We've got this colonial marine. Soon within range of um, marching onto the bomb. And we're about to see total destruction. I don't know how close I want to be before... Uh, okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, for some reason it's not detonating. Now I'm really disappointed. I waited all this time to have it detonate and then it doesn't. Oh, then I forgot to... Um, I guess I forgot to tell these guys to fire at will, and so they lost the machine gun. But the enemy units were killed anyways. God damn you, you French bastards. Um, the machine guns are basically gone. I'm gonna tell the infantry to advance. We still have the... Oh, the... Um, the Tiroler guys are coming in. The Landwehr from the Tiroler region. Hoping that one French unit will try to uh, try to set that on fire at least. Let's see. I thought. Let's see. Where do I have a cavalry? We gonna send you. Let's send you in a wide arc and try to get the machine gun. Are they trying to get up through here? Oh, they can actually get up through there. I thought that was impossible. Hmm. French are opening fire on us. It's a bit little too late. 
trigger my explosive, you bastards. So charging for the artillery. But they're getting the gun down on the approach. They did actually reach us. Come on, run. Oh, he's dangerously close to that. Is he going to detonate it? Hmm. I've seen it detonate, so it's not like it's a mod problem. It's a um, bloody uh, Napoleon problem. Oh! Ah! Oh, now it detonated, of course, when I'm not looking. But you can kind of see what the mine does. So this is not due to our artillery or anything. That is the mine that exploded. And took out basically two regiment size. So that's how deadly mines are. Just absolutely detonated and just blew up the entire area. And just took out all these French troops. Unfortunately, it cannot really dig a... Oh, are we blowing up each other? Yeah, we're almost hitting our own troops. Unfortunately, it cannot really dig up the ground that it, as it should, given the uh, size of this, but damn. We uh, just blew up all of the... With that bomb as well, that was uh, the defining moment, and yeah, the, uh, the French are gone. And I don't think they're going to come back. Here we have the result of the battle. We deployed 4,200, almost 4,300 men against the 1,600 of the French. We lost 600 men, which is way too high. Uh, but then again, I was kind of playing, toying with the enemy. I wasn't unleashing the full fury. Um, although, if I had advanced more with my infantry, more troops would have actually died due to the French machine guns. Um, and highest killers goes to forward artillery observers. No surprise there, maybe. Uh, they were able to kill about 300, and then combat engineers. Did the com- no, the combat engineers cannot be- they don't claim the kills for the explosion, I don't think. The explosion, because they lost- okay, so... If we take a look at this, we killed... 1400 maybe it does actually because um, you can only see a small discrepancy in between what we killed and what they lost it's only 49 men so um, that would mean that, um, that yeah I guess they would they would count them to the combat engineers and they didn't. They only shot a little bit at the cavalry. No other unit really got that far. So we can imagine that maybe 200 of those kills were just from that explosion. It's a, just such a shame that, of course, when I look away, exactly the point that I sort of move over it, then is when it's detonating and not when I'm looking at it. Um, but we forced the French out of this territory. With the fact that I've upgraded everything so much at this point, um, we have a really great replenishment rate. I think this army will actually continue on this route and go to German-held territory and will seize Switzerland and turn that into a, um, a protectorate of our own. I think the Germans probably have got great uh, replenishment rate as well. So no worries going into allied territory. If we actually go ahead and take a look at the research right now, because I have so many uh, research centers, we're just moving through this as really quickly. Um, some people were talking about machine guns. Machine guns down here, submachine guns. I think we actually get machine guns before that. Um, improved machine gun. I think, yeah, we get... No, we don't get the um, SMG infantry. One of the things that I've also noted in all my campaigns, this is more for the developers that might be watching this, or should, or maybe should be watching this, it's pretty hard to say, but I know they are watching some of my episodes. I haven't been able to get the advanced construction, which I've 
left. And that is um, in the campaigns that I've tested out. So I haven't been able to actually unlock to do further the, this, the instructions. Anyways, we also have tanks on the way. Seven, five turns until I will get the German uh, A7V mail tank. And we have a few other things coming along. Uh, later on, advanced tanks, we get the female variant. I think the female variant is actually better because it's machine gun. And we see how deadly machine guns is comparatively towards this one that fires like a move, movable artillery piece. Um, yes, so we had advanced there, we've done that. Is there any moves? I cannot make a move here, but we're going to go to Vilnius. I can start by marching into the enemy territory over here. Hopefully it will be ready to send in. I want, I'd wonder though, I don't think I need maybe the heavy guns. If I'm gonna get gas. Um, for him, I think he has enough of those. He'll get something else here, maybe flamethrower. Um, so we'll get, we'll be able to test out gas on the Romanians. God, sounds horrible, but... Yeah, we'll be able to test out the new gas guns on the Romanians. Um, this army will be the last one to be launched because we're gonna get these guys first. I don't think we... no, we don't reach. So we'll march about there. No uh, surprises there. We'll attack these and then move on to Marseille. And once that's done, we can move over this to attack um, Sardinia, take that, create a puppet state on Sardinia of the Italian state, and if I want to give back some territory I can, but most likely not. Um, and that's about it. I have some other plans as we're kind of going into late stage of this campaign. I want to do more Great War, so we'll see. I want to do something quite differently though. So we're going to test out something. Um, my paid subscribers already know what it is. Maybe I'll already release it at the point of this video, but who knows. Um, yes, with all of that said, I say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.